The last part is about a wall and a ladder. This is very popular. Okay, this is in our syllabus. In our syllabus, stated there about leaning ladder. So, kena tahu. Okay, now let's say this is rough. This is smooth. Okay, so we have a ladder. So, the question why ask you the normal force from the wall, the normal force from the floor, or the weight of the ladder. So, we can ask you anything. Let's say we have someone climbing the ladder. So, kat mana baru ladder dia akan jatuh So, macam biasa Number 1, start with free body diagram Okay, let's say this is point A This is point B So, you have an A You have an B So, ladder ada weight dia mesti tengah-tengah Weight of the ladder So, where is the friction? This is rough So, to the right or to the left? To the right, to the right. Okay. So, how to know friction oppose the motion? If you nak jatuh, mesti you jatuh macam tu. So, they oppose the motion of jatuh. That's why to the right. Okay. You dah tahan macam ni. Takkan macam ni. Okay. So, that is the first rule. Okay. Second rule. Apa dia second rule? Choose pivoted point. So, where? Kat mana you nak cungkil? A or B? Macam saya cakap tadilah A, B Ok, let's say this is C A, B, C Mana-mana pun boleh Mathematically But In physics We go to Where is The logic part Ok, so logically You nak congkil You congkil kat tempat Yang ada geseran lah Kan, barulah you boleh Macam ni Kalau kat sini Smooth Eh ha, Tak boleh kan Nicil kan Macam orang buat lompat galah Forward tu Dia lari-lari-lari Dia congkil Baru dia boleh pergi sini Kan Kalau sini licin <laughs> Tak guna lah kan Okay so we choose this one As pivoted point Okay so step number 3 Twist Twist the chosen pivoted point Okay so We know And B And friction You cannot twist At your same point The same point Tak akan dapat Perpendicular kan Okay so This one This is weak This is Perpendicular distance R1 Let's say you know the angle You know this is at the middle So you can determine The R1 over here Okay Then this one Twist here This is clockwise Negative So now we can write Total tau Equal to zero So we have negative R1 cross WL Okay then This is force This is the pivoted point Twist about here So this is your perpendicular distance Let's say R2 So counterclockwise positive So plus R2 cross NA Equal to zero Settle Okay let's say Just now You chose this As pivoted point So means This one You have to twist over here This one you have to twist over here And this one is not perpendicular So you have to find WL perpendicular Twist over there So banyak benda you kena buat lah ha, Macam ini dua benda ni dah tak payah buat lah Cancel kat diri sendiri kan Senang sikit pengiraan Okay so Soalan suruh cari apa? NA Dah dapatlah jawapan Let's say Tak cukup maklumat Still tak dapat jawapan This is one condition So we have another condition of equilibrium Which is Fx equal to zero So what do you have on X? You have friction You have NA So we have F minus NA equal to zero So F equal to NA tak cukup lagi maklumat We have Fy equal to zero So Fy what do we have? This one And this one So we have Nb Minus W Equal to zero Okay so If this part you can get the answer Dah Cannot get the answer Still cannot get the answer Apply Fx Apply Fy If applicable Tak semestinya semua soalan You guna this thing 
Tak semestinya lah Okay let's say In nota kuliah Dia punya soalan dia bagi lagi Ada fireman panjat kat sini So berapa jauh baru dia jatuh For example So kita consider lagi This week Week of the fireman Twist lagi Okay cari lagi jarak dia Tak ada masalah Okay tu je tak susah pun Okay oleh kerana tak susah 